Uh, Councillor Kitkat, we now have your photos. Right, thank you. Um, you're, you have had a response, so would you like to ask your supplementary? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, well, it, it, it's concerning that um, the copies of messages I'm copied into um, are City Clean telling residents that the stoppers are forthcoming, and yet you don't actually have any kind of timescale for the rollout. And you are saying the stoppers are forthcoming in relation to stopping the slamming noises from these lids. And yet, looking at the photos, they clearly will do nothing about the slamming noise at all. Um, even if the new model bin had cost the same as a foot pedal bin, which you claim, surely now that you're going to weld these bits of metals on, they are going to cost more. Now, you've apologized, I see, finally, in today's Argus. You managed to apologize, finally. Will you now accept that these bins do cost more, and how on earth are you going to pay for these changes? Can I just say, I have apologized on a number of occasions at council meetings, because, and I've said it on numerous occasions, that obviously every member of this council wants to see every person's bin collected on the right day at the right time. And when that hasn't happened, and I have acknowledged that, both with the round changes and with the, um, and with the changes to the recycling. So I have apologised, and I will always apologise um, when uh, things haven't gone 100%. Now, uh, so you're not correct in what you, you, you say there. Um, as far as the, the situation of the bins, we have tried... Um, we're constantly looking at ways to make bins quieter and to make them easier for residents to use. And that is why um, we have launched uh, um, a testing of the bins, and I say in my response, and I don't know whether you've had the opportunity to go along to Church Road, Blattington Road and Sackville Road, but there they are to be seen. We're constantly testing them but on Monday, um, it is likely that um, the first ones will be seen um, on the streets in answer to your question as to uh, as the time scales. But if you've got any views on these, and I say that in my answer, um, uh, then you know, we'd be pleased to hear from you. Thank you, Councillor Theobald. Uh, Councillor Kitkat. Sorry, you, you, that was your supplementary, so... And Councillor Theobald has answered your supplementary. You do have another question, Councillor Kitkat, and you have received a response. So would you like to put forward your supplementary? Well, first of all, Madam Chair, for Councillor Theobald to now tell me these will be rolled out on Monday, asking my point of view, and yet the written response said there was no time scale. It really beggars belief, Madam Chair, to get a response today and be told that this coming Monday... They're going to be rolled out, and he's asking for my views. How can I possibly gather the views of my residents? I, I, I just, I, I think that makes a mockery of any consultation. I've been trying to engage with this, and I had to bring it to cabinet. Would you, would you like to ask your supplementary well, question? Thank you. My, my, I don't know if, if you've had the chance to read the addendum, um, Madam Chair, but the response to my question, number B, was a written response will be provided. Now, I submitted my question in good time according to the procedural rules of this Council and the Constitution, and to not get a written response at this Council Cabinet meeting is extremely disappointing because, obviously, once this meeting's passed, I will lose that opportunity for a supplementary. So I'll ask my supplementary now, which is, our communal bin is going to be rolled out to any other areas of the city. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor? No. No. Not to this. No, your second, it's your second uh, question, Councillor Kitkat. There is a, a written... Your question actually was, could Councillor Theobald provide the litres of fuel used per month by City Clean for waste collection in January, February and March 2008, and also in January, February and March 2009? That, that was your question, Councillor. Yes. Uh, uh, indeed, and it was about waste collection, and as, as you will note, we have communal bins in the city centre since... Um, that Councillor time Kit in sorry, Councillor Kitkat. We, we have moved on from your first 
question. Can we go on to this? But this question is trying to identify the change in fuel use since the introduction of coronal bins. And so it's a very valid supplementary question to ask if there will be further rollout of coronal bins, because once I have the written response from Councillor Theobald, I might be able to infer further information regarding the costs and fuel use. Right. Thank you, Councillor Kitcow. I think in that case, if you're waiting for a written response, Councillor Theobald actually doesn't have anything else to say until you have that, but until you may wish to ask another question. No, I, I just want to just make this point. Councillor Kitcow has asked a, a detailed question which will take a considerable amount of time to extract that information. You know, everybody knows, that at the present time, um, City Clean staff you know, are working um, all hours to try and get um, the, the recycling and uh, the refuse collections um, to be done appropriately. And, you know, at this time, to come forward and ask for this, now, I've said to you in this written question, you will get an answer, but we cannot provide that answer for you because it needs detail, a lot of detail, a lot of work, a lot of officer time, and many people may well argue that that time could be better spent um, on other things, but they will provide that information for you, uh, and a letter will go to you giving you, but, um, but in the time scale that you have provided, um, it, it, it just has not been possible. But I reiterate again my offer to you as a member of this council to ha have a meeting with the Assistant Director at City Clean who will be pleased to discuss all these and many other issues on bins with you person to person. And I have said this on numerous occasions rather than coming along and asking questions which um, where you've got a, 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 a time scale to answer them which makes it difficult. Whereas if you went and, and had a word with um, Ms. Marston, um, you gave her a longer time, you discussed these issues, I'm sure it, it, you, you would benefit more by than putting questions such as this down. But in any event, you will get a written response. Thank you, Councillor Theobald. Thank, thank you, Councillor Kitcat. Thank you. It, Yes, Councillor Kitcat. Uh, thank you, Madam, Mayor. You, you, uh, Madam Chair. Sorry, you may recall on 29th of January, Councillor Theobald said that despite being very, very busy, you know, extremely busy, he promised to bring the waste strategy to this cabinet meeting. And try as I may, I can't find it on the agenda. And I wonder if you could just point it out to me. That is coming to my cabinet member meeting. Yes. Thank you, Councillor Kitcat. I think you've made your point, so thank you. Now, if we could move now on now to...